schools open for the second term this Tuesday, and government has since warned authorities against demanding fees payments exclusively in United States dollars while rejecting the local currency. Investigations by the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe RBZ's Financial Intelligence Unit have since established that some schools are demanding up to 80% of tuition fees in United States dollars and the remainder in local currency. The Minister of Primary and Secondary Education, Honorable Tore Rai Moyo, confirmed to ZBC News government's position on fees payments, warning that school authorities found on the wrong side of the law will face the music. Is school schools are opening on the 7th of May 2024, the school authorities must be compliant with the regulations that are obtaining as prescribed by the ministry. The first regulation is that um, the government of Zimbabwe is operating under a multi-currency regime, whereby in the basket all the currencies are being accepted. It is illegal to charge school fees exclusively in US dollars. The Minister of Primary and Secondary Education would want to ask all school authorities to be compliant with the regulations, whereby the ZIG payments must be paid according to the, the interbank rate of 13.56. In cases where school authorities are defiant and are charging anything above 13.56, the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education will not hesitate to deal with those defiant school authorities. Amongst a cocktail of measures that are going to be applied is Statutory Instrument 1 of 2000, which stipulates that all the defiant headmasters may be suspended. Institutions of higher and tertiary education are also obliged to accept payments in the local currency. The government policy is very clear in terms of means of payment, of means of trade. We are in the multi-currency regime. ZIG is one of those currencies that we are supposed to, and as a result, we should first of all as Zimbabweans have confidence in the currency. This includes the institutions. The ministry policy is very clear. There's no institution that is supposed to reject ZIG as the means of payment. As long as there's an institution that is rejecting that, um, the public should come forward and, and let us know. The government has since launched a multi-agency blitz to account for schools demanding fees exclusively in foreign currency and rejecting the Zimbabwe gold ZIG in contravention of exchange control regulations. The multi-agents operation will see officers from ZAC, RBZ's Financial Intelligence Unit, and police deployed to pursue school authorities that are breaking the law. Mshomo Dinube, ZBC News, Wange.